Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So on today's episode, I'm gonna teach you how to restore faded plastic and rubber trim with a new easy to apply product from The Last Coat and it's called Ceratrim. Now, Ceratrim does not only restore faded plastic and rubber trim to make them look brand new, but also protects them thanks to ceramic technology. And of course, you're gonna learn everything there is to know about it, how to apply it as well. We're gonna see it on a demo vehicle and uh, yeah, you're gonna see the one wonders that this guy does. So without further ado, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan. Welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day. So let's dig right into it. As I said today, I'm reviewing a brand new product from The Last Coat and it's called Ceratrim. Now this is a trim restore. So we're going to get into this very quickly because you're going to see, well, it's very easy to apply. This is a DIY product that's great not only for DIY enthusiasts, weekend warriors, but also for professional detailers because this is going to make your business very profitable, believe me. And uh, well, The Last Coat, as you guys know, if you follow my channel, there are makers of some awesome detailing products, including The Last Coat. This is their original silica spray sealant. So paint protection that's ceramic infused that lasts four to six months if applied properly. And I've absolutely loved this product from the beginning. This is the new 2.0 version. So even more durable, great gloss, hydrophobic properties, so on and so forth. A review is on my channel. Make sure you check that out if you want an awesome paint protectant on your vehicle spray format, very quick to apply. And uh, The Last Coat have also sent me a brand new product. So this is even better as far as long-term durability and it's called The Black Ice. So again, a uh, ceramic spray coating. So in the form of a spray bottle, very easy to use. Let me know, by the way, if you want me to test this product on my channel, drop a comment in the comment section under the video. By the way, guys, if you want to continue to learn more about car detailing, products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques, make sure that you hit the subscribe button that's found under the video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel, never miss my future videos, and also hit the notifications icon, that's the bell icon. And that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video to YouTube. Now also, don't worry, all the products and tools that are presented in this video will be linked in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So let's have a look at the label of Ceratrim, first of all, because their uh, marketing is always on point. So this is a gel-like substance, so liquid gel. Very, very simple to apply, as you're gonna see in just a few seconds in the demo. Uh, basically, this is gonna restore that faded and oxidized plastic and rubber trim on the outside of the vehicle. And you can also use this on interior plastics and rubber as well. So the application method is very simple. It comes with a foam applicator block. All right, guys, so onto the demo with the last coat Ceratrim. First of all, make sure your vehicle is clean. In this case, I just had its spring detail yesterday, so it's fully washed. But what I wanna show you is an extra step if your trim is really, really faded or dirty, and if you also have previous trim dressings on it, you wanna make sure that you remove those after you wash your vehicle. And to do so, you're gonna use an all-purpose cleaner and a soft bristle brush to really work into the pores because you wanna make sure your trim is as clean as possible before applying the last coat Ceratrim. So here we are. We're gonna spray an all-purpose cleaner directly on the surface. And then using the brush, we're gonna work that into the pores. So again, this is to make sure that the product bonds correctly to any rubber or plastic trim, because this is a long durability product, ceramic based. So you want a proper bond to the surface. So make sure you work your all purpose cleaner thoroughly in that surface. And then what we're gonna do is we're thoroughly gonna rinse and dry the surface. Now let's go ahead and dry it. So now we have a nice and clean surface to work with that has properly been degreased as well. So to show the before and after, we're going to apply a tape line right down the middle here. You're gonna see how simple it is to apply. You basically take Ceratrim, 
It's a gel-like substance, so we're going to put it on the supplied foam applicator block. If you want to have a close-up here of what it looks like. So as you can tell, it's a gel-like substance. And you basically work it in to the plastic trim. So you really want to rub that in, guys. Up and down and left to right as well. We can already tell how rich the product is and how nice that trim is. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let that dwell on the surface anywhere from five to 20 minutes, and then you come back with a clean and dry microfiber towel and you simply buff off and we're gonna make the reveal. While we're waiting for that to settle, we're going to apply this to the uh, B pillar trim here. So you're gonna see just how easy it is as well. So same principle, the vehicle has been washed, the trim is prepped now. On the left hand side, we're gonna do the before. And on the right hand side, we're going to apply Ceratrim. So again, you put some on your applicator and you work that substance in. So in a matter of minutes, you can do your entire vehicle. We can already tell the trim is looking deeper, has that richer feel. And not only are we restoring, but we're also protecting. So if applied correctly, this can last anywhere from 12 to 18 months. So we're gonna let that set. And then let's move on to another part that's interesting because you can use this on engine components as well. So plastic and rubber trim in your engine bay. So as you can tell here, the, uh, engine, bay, the uh, engine cover has been uh, cleaned. So now it's time to protect. So again, left-hand side, we're gonna leave unprotected. And the right hand side, we're going to apply Ceratrim. So we're just about done here with that five minute time window. So we're gonna go ahead and buff off, come in closer. Very easy to buff the excess off. And now let's do this reveal. We're gonna remove the tape so you can see the before and after. And I think it's quite dramatic. Let me get a detailing white light as well. So even though this trim is not too old, this is a 2014, you can already tell the difference. Look how rich this side looks how blacker that deeper look compared to this, which is just clean, right? So now with an LED detailing light, hopefully you can tell the difference even more. This is pretty striking. So again, the right hand side is protected. Look at this. And the left side is unprotected trim. So it looks good, you think it looks good, right? But then when you compare it to the protected side, well, the unprotected looks white and chalky. So imagine what it can do on a trim that's even more faded. Now, let's do the same thing for the B pillar. Come on close. So we're gonna wipe and buff this side here. So it gives it that super nice look. And again, right hand side unprotected. Left hand side with the last coat, Ceratrim. Now, the engine bay. Let's go see this. Come on in, guys. So, now, let's buff the excess off. Always use a clean and dry microfiber towel. I think this is pretty obvious which side is protected versus unprotected. Look at the striking difference, guys. Wow. So left-hand side, unprotected. 
right hand side protected with the last coat Sarah trim so the trim is restored gives it that nice factory appearance even better than new I'd say look at that I think it's pretty striking again if we flash the detailing LED light you can tell which side has that deep black look restored appearance so guys I think you saw the results were pretty dramatic uh, so imagine what it can do for older uh, trim that's even more faded or oxidized so if you have any uh, rubber or plastic trim uh, even in the interior of your vehicle the uh, the last coat Sarah trim is pretty awesome and because it's ceramic based that also means that you get the ceramic technology that the last coat is known for uh, so this is supposed to give hydrophobic properties as well meaning the self-cleaning properties what does that mean well the uh, trim of course is going to be a lot easier to maintain during your maintenance wash is a lot easier to wash because of its water repelling properties and hence the dirt is going to have a tendency to less stick on the surface so let's have a look about the water beating right now make sure for 24 hours let it cure normally and uh, don't wash your vehicle before 24 hours but you can drive off in the elements right after you apply and that's fine so let's have a look here the beating look at the difference so on the left side the water is super slow to sheet off compared to all that beating and sheeting on the right side so let me get closer so you guys can see what I'm talking about so you see how slow the water is to sheet here look at the protected side <laughs> super awesome water beating it's going to be a breeze to clean and just look how easy it's going to be to dry as well and that's it this is already dry to the touch so as you saw, the uh, results were quite dramatic with Ceratrim from the last coat. Again, this was very easy to apply. The results are beautiful. It gives that deep, rich black look. So not only was the trim restored, and this wasn't that old of a vehicle. This is a 2014 Mazda CX-5, and uh, it was in fairly good condition, and you can still see the dramatic visual appearance, uh, the difference. So imagine what it can do to even older and more faded trim. This is absolutely insane. So not only does it restore, but it also protects it. Protects it from the elements, from the UV rays, and also gives it those hydrophobic properties that we all like. So the water beating, the water sheeting, and the self-cleaning properties, meaning that the trim is going to be a lot easier to wash and maintain during your maintenance washes because dirt is going to have a lot less tendency to stick on the surface. So thumbs up to the last coat again for an awesome product. I'll make sure to leave the links in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. But but uh, check out the rest of their lineup too. I have reviews on my channel, of course. I uh, encourage you to highly uh, go watch those. I want to give a big shout out to Chad and the team over at The Last Coat. Thank you for sponsoring this video and making all of this possible. You guys always come up with amazing products. And uh, while well, this Sarah trim, compared to other trim restorers that just create this black mess and take a lot of time to apply, well, this is as easy as you pour some on the uh, little foam applicator. You apply it, let it dry, buff it off. Off and that's it and you saw the results were pretty dramatic and you can also use this there's off-label uses such as tire dressing if you got if you guys want to dig into that uh, but also as you saw we used it on plastic trim inside the engine base you know you want to dress and protect that engine bay as well for the future uh, months and even years so if you apply this correctly don't forget this can last 12 to 18 months of course I'm going to be doing long-term durability tests on the channel so make sure you tune in for some updates one side note is don't wash your vehicle for 24 hours after applying this product so once you're done applying it's fine to drive off in the elements that's no issue just don't wash or pressure wash your vehicle for at least 24 hours allowing the product to fully cure on the surface and well guys yeah I think it's pretty awesome thumbs up from Pan the organizer so if you enjoyed the video as usual smash the thumbs up button to show me your support if you want to support me even more so people always ask me how can you guys support the channel well watch the videos of course but you can also purchase my merch so I have a merch store with t-shirts like this one my keep it tight keep it clean I have many uh, different logos many colors long sleeve shirts hoodies and all that good stuff so I'll drop the link in the description under the video for you guys to check it out of course and uh, yeah so thanks for being there guys of course thanks for watching and in the meantime don't forget keep it tight keep it clean and I'll see you on the next one